Good morning, my darlings. Welcome back to Vlogmas week four. It is Christmas Eve Eve. Oh my goodness, this is the vlog. This is the vlog that is going to show Christmas Eve and a little bit of Christmas Day, etc. It's just, we've had three vlogmases building up to this point and now it is the exciting time. I'm currently filming this clip at quarter to one, but I did start filming and vlogging this morning for vlogmas so i'm gonna pause here and take you back to 7 a.m this morning when i pulled up outside aldi to do my food shop i'll show you what i picked up after i show you the clips from this morning after aldi i then headed into town and met my friend charlie we went to primark then we headed to harvey nichols for a pre-christmas eve tipple and some brunch and that is the vlog clips you're gonna see now i'll let you see them and then we'll come back 23rd of December and I think about 7.40 a.m. and this is how I'm starting my day. <laughs> Not proving super successful in B&M at the moment. I'm trying to find one last minute gift for my cousin. Like an alcohol gift set but I can't find any foodie things. Well there's some alcohol over there. But is there a gift set? I think this is like it. This is what's left. Oh this is kind of cool. Disco ball gin liqueur. Hell to wrap though. Um, I don't even know if he likes Guinness. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is like the one last person. And I just want like a little gift set of alcohol. I'm gonna have to keep looking. So it is currently 8.57. I've got Charlie here as my assistant, 8.57. And we are very keen beans. We're ahead of schedule today. As you've seen, I popped a Aldi this morning, did the food shop. We are now sitting outside the land of coffee, having a lovely eggnog latte, courtesy of my beautiful Charlie. Cheers and Merry Christmas. Yeah. And we are sat like the keen, eager Primark addicts we are, <laughs> waiting for Primark to open on Saturday the 23rd, 23rd of December. Because I need to do a return and then we're going for a nice little brunch breakfast. And also Charlie wants to get seven pairs of the same pyjamas because she loves them in Primark. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got problems, I promise. Apart from that, I think that's us. Is there anywhere else you want to go specifically? Really? The only thing I needed to grab, he popped in B&M but I didn't see it, it's just like a little something for my cousin. I wanted like a little, like you know like the alcohol sets like with a beer and a packet of something or something like that but I don't know where they would do that so I'm not sure. <laughs> but maybe maybe TK Max. We, we're not doing a full shot because today on the radio they said that it's going to be one of the, it is the busiest day to be Happy. on the roads. Boots, do that. boots and you know what, boots might be reducing their stuff now. Mm. We'll definitely look in boots. But they said on the radio when I was driving here that today between 11 and 6 p.m. is going to be the busiest time on the roads. So, so we, yeah, because Charlie goes up the motorway to get home. So I don't want her to get stuck in traffic. And I do go along a major road as well. So we can um, hopefully beat everything today and then relax. So I'll see you in Primark and hopefully there's some more lovely reductions and Christmassy bits. Of course, I'm back in uh, Primark with the group. Christmas section here uh, and I know I already looked at this in the last vlogmas but it's me it's Primark I'm gonna have to have a look there looks like there's a lot more reductions as well oh slow feeder everything I think everything's reduced some pet stuff what's that pet, pet toy lead and collar oh there's some toys there the Yoda toy for dogs oh they've got some cookbooks Are the cookbooks on sale I'm pretty sure everything here is on sale. Oh, look at that Booch Pamper kit down there for dogs. A little Disney one. You like Disney, don't you? How much is that? That will be, I'm sure it'll be half price. It'll be about seven, I reckon. Cookbooks. Oh, I've, do you know what? Is this reduced if it is? Oh, 10 pounds. I do not need any more, but I think I'm gonna get one of these. I don't like that they're Mickey, but I've seen people on Instagram do a hack. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these and a vase and you can make a really nice display. I might do that in this video. I do not need any more Christmas decorations, but I've been very, very good this year. So, oh, look how cute the jumper is. But they tend to all be a little bit more comical. Oh, the little frosted tree over here as well. I think that one's gonna be on sale too. It's £4.50. I reckon that'll be half price. That's That's, cute. It is cute, isn't it? 
Oh, the little tea light holders we've seen are reduced as well to two pounds. So I haven't showed you much in here because obviously I've done a full video, which I'll link in the screen, but we have just come to the Primark edit section and I've just seen, well, Charlie actually spotted the Primark edit jewelry, which I have never seen before. The rings are beautiful as well, but this one, is catching my eye eight pounds for three sets of earrings but i think they're really lovely what a fantastic gift as well and I, these are gold plated oh my goodness look at that necklace too giving me anna louisa by vibes got bangles and then initial necklaces i have got the tree and then i've come down to home and this is the vase that i seen on the instagram story it was the feel at home inspo she does some really good stuff and she is the reason i'm buying this um but yeah we got this lovely vase not that i need any more vases this is 10 pounds so the whole tree together is going to be 20 but obviously we can reuse this like i said not that i need any more vases and also my basket has magically got quite full with a couple of bits of loungewear and some shoes that were on sale etc um it's not my fault when i come into primark but yeah look at all of the homeware section it's all basically turned to spring which is interesting oh there's some christmas sale over here oh, is that candle on sale we need to go check yes it is oh charlie's gonna love this i need to get her if she hasn't already charlie have you seen the candles on sale i seen this at the beginning of december it's the fur and oak moss one and it's a lovely container and it's usually six it's reduced to three so i'm definitely gonna have to buy that oh yeah the cotton stems yeah. But remember this one from last, it's reduced to three quid. Already. I paid six quid for it. Yeah, that's full price. I, I, it's reduced to sit at three. So I'm going to grab one of those now. I've got a few reductions more down here as well, which is nice. <laughs> You're terrible. There's always next year. So I just checked to see how this would work. And it has to come out like this. So it just pops in like that. And it's really unstable. So I don't think I'm going to bother getting it. But this is what it looks like. And it is very, very nice. But, um yeah that's just not great for 20 quid is it so i'll leave it christmas market last day because they always close on christmas eve beautiful tree we are now heading over to harvey nichols for our bucks fizz and breakfast yay we're sat in the window by the lovely christmas tree over there we've got charlie with her mojito so now we've gone from eggnog to mojito and it's only 10:32. <laughs> and I've got a mimosa and <laughs> we are celebrating the start oh, we're celebrating Christmas Eve Eve aren't we yeah. Merry Christmas my love Merry Christmas Merry Christmas yay Merry Christmas everyone Charlie's just said I got to try her mojito because apparently it's very strong we are only having one drink because we have got to drive home but oh, it smells quite strong Oh, no, that's nice. It's strong, that's nice. It is it. You can taste the kick. But yeah, we've just ordered some uh, brunch as well. Charlie's gone for avocado on toast. And I've got this lovely frittata thing with walnuts and goodness. Lovely rocket goodness. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to sit here and chill out for a bit. And then I think from here, we're basically going home. We did go to Primark and picked up some bits and bobs, which I'll show you when I get home. And that's it then. That's us chilling for Christmas. <laughs> food has come and it looks so yummy and that was my morning which brings us back to like i said quarter to one in the afternoon on christmas eve eve so i went into aldi as you've seen i managed to supermarket sweep what i needed i'm not cooking christmas dinner but i am doing the cauliflower cheese and that was a last minute decision so i had to go get the bits for that so i went and got those things i got a packet of lure pack i got full fat milk to make the bechamel um, I'm then hosting Christmas breakfast here. My mum and dad are coming over, so I got some smoked salmon and some ham because I'm doing eggs royale and eggs benedict. Then I got sucked into the specially selected Christmas goodness. So I thought me and Andy were staying in Boxing Day. I don't usually show you guys food, but this was all too good to show you. We're staying in Boxing Day, so I thought I could do some treats for us. So I seen these little chicken katsu bao burgers, uh, sliders, and they looked amazing so i couldn't not get those as well as i got some cauliflower popcorn and then i seen this which looked amazing this is far too much for two people but it's cranberry sage and onion bread with french dipping camembert and we haven't had a camembert this christmas season yet i am so chuffed i got this it was the last one in the shop but i bought this for my 
Christmas Pococino and it was so yummy. It's in the fridge sec section in Aldi and it's the specially selected sticky toffee pudding crown, soft moist sponge with a sticky toffee sauce, fudge pieces and a sprinkling of glitter and you just put it in the microwave and it's so yummy. So I'm going to take this over to Andy's Nan's for Christmas dinner. They've probably already got dessert sorted but I thought well I'm gonna do that anyway, and it was only $5.99. I also then managed to get my friend, because we seen them at the pub last night, and he said that he did his Christmas food order, and they substituted his Yule log for like three packets of Cadbury mini rolls. Uh, he just mentioned it in passing, so when I was there, I seen a Yule log and I picked it up for him, because it is the specially selected Belgian chocolate Yule log, and it looks delightful. So I thought, he, he's gonna be running around trying to find a Yule log for Christmas, because they, they they can't be having the Cadbury sandwich mini rolls. So got him that and he also couldn't get cauliflower or broccoli. They just didn't give it to him in his order. So I managed to get that for him as well, save him running around. Town was okay. We got in really early. So Primark was, was fairly quiet. I didn't end up getting that tree as you've seen. Uh, it was still £10 and I was going to have to like rip it out anywhere like you've seen and then the vase was £10. I didn't really need a vase. i just seen it on Instagram and I was so influenced to make it and it would have looked beautiful but truth be told, I, I don't have anywhere for it so <laughs> I'm trying to really cut down on my decorations and it saved me £20 but if that tree goes any more into the sale, if it gets reduced anymore, I will I will get it if it goes cheap enough. But it's still still ten pounds. However, I did get a few things in Primark. These were on sale. These were in the sale section on sale, and I couldn't not get them. I got two packets because I got one for my mum and one for me. Even in the time span that me and Charlie were there, uh, there was like I don't know fifteen pairs, and then by the time we walked around the store and back again, there must have been like five left. I picked up two sets. They were reduced from four pounds. £2.50 to £2. So yeah, one for me and one for my mum because I buy my mum Christmas pyjamas so she can wear them and I give that on Christmas Eve. It's like the only present we give on Christmas Eve. We then went up to the pyjama section and they've got so much nice lounge wearing at the moment. These must be new because I haven't seen them before but they're doing lounge sets. So they're just like the pyjama sets but just lounge sets. This was £15. I got it in a size large. I don't know if that's going to be right because sometimes I usually buy mediums but obviously with lard I want them to be oversized and it just depends on the fit it could be far too big and if it is I'll just take it back and exchange it but 15 pounds for the top and the bottom and it's that really nice fabric that's super stretchy they also did it in a sage green but I've actually got a very similar one if not identical from the Mrs Hinch Tesco collaboration they used to do so I didn't end up picking that. I went for white because I don't actually have a full white lounge set. These were so beautiful. So these were in the lounge slash pyjama section. But I don't know if I'm going to wear these as lounge or I reckon you could actually style them and wear them out. They are these amazing cargo, cargo lounge wear, I suppose it is. So the pockets are on the side. It's got a drawstring, um, which is real. And it says love to love to lounge on it i got these in a size small because i thought they looked quite big i don't want them too oversized so i got them loved them instantly fell in love with them and they were 12 pounds which isn't too bad i don't think i'll actually end up wearing them out but you know like if you're going somewhere where you really want to be comfortable it's a very casual environment and you could probably like i could wear this with like a black bodysuit and maybe a long line coat and you could totally get away with it and then the last thing i picked up in primark in the home section not that i needed any more candles at all but it is this candle here which is the fir and oak moss candle i seen this back in december and i wanted to get it but it was six pounds and i thought that was a bit steep for a candle that doesn't really smell of much like I'm just buying it for the packaging. Three pounds, however, half price, 100% worth it. So yes, I've got this one. I'm still burning my white company and that will probably see me through. So I'll probably keep this till next year. But the one they did last year was called Christmas Eve. Charlie got it and I didn't. And I kind of wish that I did now. It was very similar to this. I think it was a bit nicer to be honest with you. If you watched the Vlogmas week three, you would have seen that we went into H&M. Now, when I was editing that video, I looked back and I was like, 
actually those plates are so nice. Uh, they had some Christmas plates that were in, in the sale. When I uploaded the video yesterday, because today's Saturday if I haven't mentioned, I put it in the screen I think, but uh, when I edited the video I was like, oh, they were so nice. So I went online to find them and link them for you guys in the description, which by the way, in all of the Vlogmases, if there's anything I've mentioned, showed, anything that's available online, furniture in my home, anything I might have featured, I will always, and this goes for any video, I will always try and link them in the description box so you guys can access them really easily. I looked back at the footage and I found the link online for the plates, but they were sold out. And then I thought, oh, that's such a shame. And we walked past H&M home today and I might have picked them up. So I picked two of them up. Now these were four pounds each. They didn't have any of the bigger ones left. I think if they had the bigger ones, I probably would have got one of the bigger ones each. And then, uh, so I got two, I got two of these and I would have got two of the bigger ones. And then it's quite just, it's quite nice for me and Andy. I just thought, you know, there's mainly two of us that only eat here. I mean, I know he's not fussed on the plate, so it would only be for best, but I absolutely loved this design. I just thought it was so neutral, vintage looking. How adorable absolutely beautiful the problem is now i'm gonna look at these and go i want a whole dinner service of them which would be very very expensive especially considering they used to be 6.99 so that's just my little haul from today charlie has we did our gift exchange that was the reason for meeting up and the gift that i got charlie you guys actually did with me in vlogmas week two or week three so i've got all of her christmas presents that she's now given me under the tree ready for christmas day but she did give me a bag of a couple of things that she said was just for before christmas so i'll show you what they are now because oh my goodness she did give me this lovely glass tumbler but as i was getting out the car it, it fell out of the bag and it smashed. I'm really upset about it. Uh, it completely shattered. So unfortunately, I don't have that to show you. But this is the little pre-gift that she gave me. And I was like, wait, what? Like, what have you done? Uh, absolutely amazing bag. The bag itself is, pretty, <laughs> is a gift to me. I think that is beautiful. And inside, she actually got me a Tiffany bauble how amazing is this so it's that design but on the front then thankfully this didn't smash because the whole bag fell on the floor so i'm hoping it's not broken but this didn't smash we're both mug addicts from dunelm and it looks like this a nice minimal mug with the forest green and i told her forest green is my thing this year but she didn't actually know that she just uh she just went and got it, so yeah, we're very, very in tune. I think it's lovely. Andy also got me these flowers yesterday when he went out shopping. They're Christmas flowers. What a beautiful bouquet this is. You've got the roses, pine cones, red berries, fir. I'm not sure what this one is. Here's the fir, or well, this might be spruce, I'm not sure. Some little white flowers there too. It's just a stunning arrangement, and the fir smells really, really nice, so. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful there. Where is this gonna go on the tree? Excuse Jerry, there's a van outside and he's just wanting to make noise. Should I put it up there? Oh no, that's too cluttered. Do you guys, do you ever get this? Do you get like bauble, I don't even know what we should call it, bauble fear, bauble clutter fear or something, I don't really know. Oh, maybe I put it here. There we go, that is spaced nicely and it gets all the glory of the light. Oh gosh, how exciting, guys. Christmas Eve Eve. Yay. This is Jerry's Christmas sack that gets filled up with all of the presents, which you would have seen in week three. And actually, that's just reminded me, I had to go get some bows and tie that up for my mum and dad. I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but my mum and dad travel a lot. So I mentioned it in my Timu gift guide, if you have seen, but I said I was making these up for my parents. Uh, it's just like a little bonus present, but... I got these boxes in Asda, this is from Home Bargains, and then like this is my dad's. So it's a little travel bundle. So we've got the luggage tag, a passport holder, a waterproof phone case, packing cubes, medicine bag, and then just a little bag to put your toiletries in. It probably won't even be useful, but I just wanted to make a little bundle because they travel a lot and they're actually traveling on Christmas day. So they're coming up here Christmas morning, which you'll see in this vlog, and we're doing our presents then. Uh, and tomorrow, actually, on Christmas Eve, that's when we're kind of doing a mini Christmas day with me, mum, dad, Andy, and both sides of my grandparents. So we'll be doing gift exchange with my nan and gramp that day, but I'm seeing my nan and granddad and my mum and dad on 
Christmas day. So there's no need for me to bring the presents up. <sighs> All right, I have been go, go, go since 6 a.m. So I am going to make myself a decaf tea because I've drank far too much coffee this morning. Plus I just had a cheeky little glass of Bucks Fizz or Mimosa, as they call it in the US. So that will send me to sleep, but I think the caffeine's gonna balance it out nicely. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna make a cup of tea, sit down with a Fox's biscuit, although I'm very full from that lovely lunch. Watch Josie London's Vlogmas from yesterday. Take five. And then I'm gonna start making the cauliflower cheese ready for Christmas day. I am a happy bunny. These are so cute. I'm so glad I got mum a pair. She's gonna love them too. Two pounds, what a bargain. I finished watching um, YouTube and chilling out for a bit, so I'm gonna go make the cauliflower cheese now. And I just have a couple of pe presents to wrap. Obviously these for mum that I gotta give her tomorrow. And also Andy's a couple of presents he picked up for the kids. Cause men are just incapable of wrapping. Is this the case for anybody else? cauliflower cheese is all prepared. I was just waiting for this to fully cool, which it has now, and then I'm gonna load it up and put the cheese sauce on top. I then got over here a selection of cheeses to put on it. So I've got some Parmesan, I've got some leftover of my vintage mature cheddar, and then I've got some Borsan leftover as well. I also had these in the cupboard leftover from my cheese board, and I've just crushed them up. I took a rolling pin to this and crushed up the remainder. So it's in there, almonds, walnuts, cashew nuts, and hazelnuts, and I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top with a little bit of nutmeg as well. Excuse the noise. The vacuum, I think, is a uh, complicated itself in the wire. So that's gonna be yummy. I also put on top that I bought today, um, not necessarily these ones, but cheese and onion crisps. I always crunch up and put on top. That's my mum's pro tip for our cauliflower cheese. I think I've told you guys that before when I'm doing a roast. But yes, constructed this, given the side a nice wipe over. I've got my nice um, silver crockery out. My nan and granddad actually gave me these. Um, they're st actually stainless steel, sorry, not silver. But they are, they passed them down to me basically. Although I found that the forks have got really discolored on the top. So I've just smothered them in brown sauce. Wondering if that's gonna work. I don't know if it'll work on stainless steel. I know it works on copper to shine them up. So I'm just gonna leave that for half an hour and hope for the best. I can't remember if I've told you as well, but we're, the plan for Christmas basically, let me send the vacuum home, hang on. Christmas day, my parents are coming here quite early and I'm hosting breakfast, which is why I had to run out this morning to Aldi. But I have just set the table, so it's all ready. So I haven't got to worry. This is what my table is looking like. Don't mind the Timu package. I just took the bins out and realized that was around the corner. Four other boxes were delivered, but this random one was left around the side. I don't know why. I'm really happy with this table. I have got my seagrass coasters and placemats out this time rather than my snowflake ones, because I do love these. I love the rustic look. I'm kind of going for a little Delsford theme, as you can see. So I've got my Delsford plate slash tray. I'll be putting the muffins and bits and bobs on this. And then I've got my Delsford apple juice this stuff is beautiful so i thought i'd save it for special um christmas day i've got my centerpiece that i foraged which is just there in all its glory and then my napkins here which are like a raw cotton and the primark napkin rings that i've got here along with my white company champagne flutes and then these baubles which light up are from matalan down the middle so yeah nice and simple not much going on, but just enough and just nice. And that's all ready for Christmas day because we're basically out tomorrow all day. So there's no point of worrying. We have dinner on our laps in the front room. So easy peasy. I haven't got my tripod and I can't be bothered to go get it. But the cauliflower is all roasted and done. So I'm just gonna pop it into the trivet. It's kind of like a trivet. Just sort of looks a bit nicer when you've got all of the I was about to say cabbage, it's not cabbage, all of the cauliflower leaves are on the outside and it's a little bit of a hack really because then you haven't got to do as much washing up. So just like that and then my bechamel slash cheese sauce 
well it is definitely a cheese sauce i didn't show you but i actually put borsan in this um yeah lots and lots of goodness went into this so actually do you know what? i'm going to heat it up a bit because it's got a little bit stiff the sauce is loosened up a bit and i am literally just going to pour it over the cauliflower oh my gosh yum 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 just like so and then we'll top this off with some cheese so i'll do the cheese now and i think i'm going to leave the nuts and the crisps for actually on christmas day because it will be otherwise if you're put it's obviously christmas eve eve so that's like two days before this will be fine to sit as it is but if i put the crisps they're going to go soggy and the nuts may go soggy i'm not sure so i'm just going to leave it as i gotta leave it anyway but yeah i'm gonna sprinkle all the cheese over the top and then leave this to cool and then we can cover it over and put it in the fridge right it's later now oh my god jerry sitting here looking super cute in his merry woofmas and it is coming to the conclusion of christmas eve eve i've just been doing our dinner i wanted to show you because i'm using my plate that I got today for the first time. It's a shame we couldn't have our dinner on them um, with, if I got the bigger ones, we would have done. We've got chicken burgers and chips in the oven and I'll do some, got the cheese ready to go on it to melt and some onion rings as well over here. And did you find the movie? Well, because it's not aired till tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I asked Andy to try and find the heist before Christmas on Sky, but uh, yeah, it doesn't launch till tomorrow apparently. So we'll have to rethink what we are watching. tree oh christmas tree thy leaves are so unchanging oh christmas tree oh christmas tree thy leaves are so unchanging not only green when summer's here but also when it's cold and drear oh christmas tree tree thy leaves are so unchanging oh christmas tree oh christmas tree such pleasure do you bring me oh christmas tree oh christmas tree such pleasure do you bring me for every year this christmas tree Brings to us such joy and glee Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you bring me Good morning everybody, it is Christmas Eve! I had such a nice morning just getting up as you've seen the traditions of turning on all of the lights which just makes me so happy. I had a nice shower, I've put the bedding in the wash, I made myself a cup of tea, I had a Fox's Biscuit, the very chocolatey ring one, don't tell Andy, with my cup of tea this morning, but it is Christmas Eve so it's very called for. I've just got ready, you will have seen that time lapse of just doing a bit of skincare, eyebrows and mascara. That's all I can be bothered to do today and that is probably all I will do tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie. I put tan on last night, I put tan on my face as well and in the camera I'm looking a little bit uh, washed out because my light is so bright. Let me just turn it back down again um, and if I put it on the warm one. I look, I look a little bit better on the warm, I'll keep it on the warm. So yes, I actually look like this tanned in real life. The camera aperture is, is draining me a little bit. Um, also, weirdly enough, Christmas Eve, woke up this morning, it is so warm. I don't know about you guys, but I think we must be in a spout of high pressure because 
outside is so warm. I had my French door open when I was having my cup of tea this morning by the Christmas tree. And just now when I was doing my uh, skincare and stuff, I've had my window open. It's so hot. I wanted to wear my Christmas jumper, but I'm going to have to wear my Christmas dress. I usually wear this every single Christmas day. It's just this smock dress here, which was from, let me shut the door there, which was from Zara, like, five years ago. I love red tartan at Christmas. I feel like it's, it's just Christmas. Like, did you see, did you spot my dressing gown this morning? That's also, that's from Victoria's Secret Pink. Uh, I do wear it all year round, but it feels particularly Christmassy. And then, of course, I've got my, I like flashing you, I've got my reindeer little slippers on that I got in Primark yesterday. I am absolutely in love with these. I'm gonna actually take them over my mum's this morning to wear them there. I did have, I didn't know whether to wear these, um, but I don't know. It is Christmas, but I, I, I don't, like I said, I've done all of the dressing up, I've done all of the sparkles, the glitz and the glam, the makeup, and do you know what? When it comes to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I don't know about you guys, but I want to relax. It's the days that you're supposed to enjoy and really relax and I don't want to do makeup. If I'm in the mood for it, fine, I'll do it. If I don't, then I don't want to. It is what it is. So I think I'm going to stick with this. Tomorrow I'll probably just go over my hair a little bit more. Although, I don't know why we bother. It's forecast rain for today and tomorrow. So we're only going to be sat in each other's houses. Uh, so I think I'm just going to take the opportunity to just enjoy, relax. I have got a wrap, one more present that I completely forgot about for my nan, because today I'm bringing over my nan and gramps presents. Even though I'm seeing my nan and gramp and my nan and granddad, I'm actually seeing my mum and dad and my nan and granddad tomorrow on Christmas Day. So it just feels right to pass them their presents then. Whereas my nan and gramp, I'm not going to get a chance to see. So it makes sense to take them today. As I said in this vlog, my parents are away on Christmas Day. They're actually flying from Heathrow at like three o'clock. So that's why they're coming here in the morning and we can, I can still see them on Christmas Day because that's important to both of us. Uh, so I'm going to do some breakfast, hence why I ran to Aldi yesterday. And we'll do our present exchanges then. They want to see Jerry open his presents. All of that good stuff. But of course, they're not going to see my nan and granddad and my nan and gramp, so both of their parents. So they wanted a treat this morning as their little Christmas day. So they're doing a full Christmas breakfast. We've got continental and a full English. And they want to give their presents to my nan and gramp and my nan and granddad because they won't be seeing them. So it will be lovely. It'll just extend the festivities. Uh, so we're doing that this morning. We have got to leave, actually. It's 9.20. We're going to leave very, very shortly, about half past. I've got to quickly wrap this present and put all the stuff in the car and take it from under the tree, all my nan and gramps presents. Then we're just going to go over and have a nice morning and from there we're probably going to head to the pub afterwards to see our friends for a pre-Christmas drink. And then this evening we've got 6pm mass at church, so we'll probably have to leave here at about quarter past five anyway by the time we drive park and get there before the service starts then we come home and we're gonna be watching gavin and stacy christmas specials back to back i think so the original then the updated i don't know how i feel on the updated i'm a humongous gavin and stacy fan one of the biggest i know a lot of you are who watch this as well how did you feel about the second christmas special i'm not sure on it i mean the originals are always the originals but i i'm not sure i, I feel like did it did it slightly ruin it I can't decide, I really don't know. But we're gonna be doing that tonight. I'll make a little dish of pasta, nothing too major, because we got breakfast and obviously our Christmas dinner tomorrow. But it is going to be a wonderful day. So, let's head on over to my mum and dad's and start our first little Christmas day eve. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down Trust your daddy! Trust your daddy! Oh, you don't know how to go around. <laughs> oh, it's He's stuck! Right, I gotta check this is all the presents. Check my list. Oh. She's checking her list. No, what's how to go? She's checking her list. What's well, him? He's checking his list, but she's checking her list. Checking it twice. You know what I'm trying to go on with. I just gotta make sure all the presents that I've got are here. Right, that's Gramps' hat. That's Nan's bracelet. Gramps' razors. That's 
Gramps set. Oh, that's right. Okay, so one's the earrings and one's the headphones. That's fine. Okay. Oh, and the one I've just wrapped up. Perfect. Another year went by, but the difference this time is that ever since July, I've been happier than. Nana Gramps presents is all in the bag, and then this is Mum's. Christmas Eve present which is the slippers and her new pajamas both from Primark because we love Primark. We're here and look at Jimmy in his Christmas jumper! Oh he's so cute! Mum and Dad are here cooking away Christmas Eve. Tomatoes, eggs, the works. They got some bacon under here. Beans, toast, Normal sausages, veggie sausages. Sausages. I really love this air fryer. We need to get a dual air fryer. Smoked salmon. Dad said this is beetroot one. And then normal and loads of dill. And then even a little continental option over here. And if we go cook on continental, and then we go into the front room. And if you watch Vlogmas week three, I think it was, or yeah, week three, then this is a similar setup that you've seen before. Oh, I love this table runner. Look how nice that is. That's really pretty. And then obviously just exactly the same over here all the candles lit it looks so lovely and i've brought over my presents and then i've put mums around the corner and i think i'm not gonna tell her and then when we go to church tonight and we're leaving and saying goodbye and see you see you christmas day i'm gonna tell her when she goes home to look under the tree and then she'll be able to find it i think that could be fun unless she gives me mine then i'll give her hers but we'll see you know which one's room is lovely coffee Nan and Gramp have arrived and look at Gramp's jumper! <laughs> it looks really good. Now I have seen it on you before, but it does look good. Oh and Nan's, there we go. Everyone's very, very festive. Mum's got her red velvet dress on. And he has got his Christmas jumper around his neck. It's too hot. <laughs> it's, it's far too hot. And then I showed you earlier, I've got my Zara dress on. It's so, so warm. So warm. And Jimmy's got his jumper on! Yeah, Yay! <laughs> Mum wants to give Jerry his present now. Oh. <gasps> Jimmy, what are you got? Look at the presents! What are you got? He sniffed these out the other day. Sorry, let me step over. Look, you'll open them. What are you got? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's lighting up! It's lighting up! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah, he's just bringing up the chair. I just wait. Is that another Nerf toy? Yeah. I've got a heat. Well, <clears throat> Plantapool has got him two other Nerf toys. <laughs> oh my goodness! Huh? Oh. <laughs> what is it? I think you're a bit stuck still, my man. You can do it. Go on then. What is it? What is it? Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh my goodness. Look at that! <gasps> what is it? Look, to make your bright lights up! Yeah, I thought we were keeping quiet. He must be playing hey, a bit funny. Oi! Oh, you want the other next one? He's the just open it on his own, look. You were like... <laughs> what one, is it? That one's like a, for a kid, Amy, is it? Oh, Jerry, it's a bit boring. <laughs> I don't know if you've got him one of them. I've seen it. I could help my lab, baby lab. What is it? Nanny help you? Oh my <laughs> gosh. No. No. Oh my gosh. You're joking me. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, he's gone oh, to the next that. one already. That's so good. Oh my gosh, Jerry. Another one. He's just opened all three presents. Just look at his new app. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to come back north. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my god. He's a black cat. He's actually going to wear that. He is. <laughs> what have you got? There's nothing in that one now. That is brilliant. 
You got a photograph of him? Not yet. He's, he's just he's gone from one present to another. As soon as he opens one, he goes to the next one. Oh, yeah. He's proper opens it as well. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, on his own. I'm not even egging yeah. him on now. <laughs> oh, he's so chuffed. Oh my gosh, it fit in perfect size for him as well. What have you got? I see that. Oh, after his cowboy hat. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, Merry Christmas. All right, Nan and Granddad are here. Well, this is all the presents that Nan and Grandpa have brought, and Mum and Dad are just finalising the. Oh, look at this Christmas plate. Oh my goodness. That's Christmas. Yeah, that yeah. is the best <laughs> bit, the hash browns. Beautiful looking fried eggs. And oh my goodness, look at this platter. Incredible. I take it they're my ones. Yes. Coolio. Right. Tomatoes. Oh my gosh. And yum yum. And Mr. is already over here waiting for his loot. Look in your lips. We're going to get some lovely breakfast. Yay. Oh, and loads and loads and loads of toast. Wow, we look at this delightful breakfast. Gramps breakfast. Everyone's got their own little versions of what they like. Yeah, I was gonna have a Friday quite fine. Well done, Mum, and thank you. Oh, thank that you. did it all right. And thank you, Dad. Done the very well again. <laughs> Nan won the cracker. Yeah. What is it? Oh my goodness. It's all popping off. What's in there? Yeah, it's it's so what have you got, Nan? <laughs> Pencils! <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Hey, at least they're useful. Where's your, where's your hat and your joke? Well, your hat might be in there. There it is. The silver one. I'll, I'll read it. What have we got? Who is never hungry at Christmas? Hey, you what? Hello. The turkey, he's always stuffed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you look bosh? Yeah, what's this? <laughs> you bosh. Oh my goodness, my man. <laughs> Beaky blinders. <laughs> yeah. We've got more presents for Mr. Jeremiah. Oh my goodness, I don't think he's ever tackled a box before. Yeah, you won't be interested in that one. What's that, Jimmy? You're not really interested in that. I saw that yesterday. Key. Key. Oh, look, a look. Key. You got another one? Watch him open his present. Watch. Look at that. You did be in the freeze, didn't you? Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. oh, dear. oh my god. You got it to video yet? Yeah, over here. Look. Oh, oh my goodness, Jerry. You want to do? You want to do? What on earth? This is your bum keeps getting in the way. I'm trying to film you. Oh my goodness. What is it? Get the paper off. Go on. <laughs> he, he doesn't understand because he can't get it off the cardboard. <laughs> hey, what is that? Not more toys. More toys. I like watching him open it. <laughs> Mum's distributing the presents. Nan and Grandad can't hang on because they're like the big kids that they are. <laughs> oh there we go we got another oh no oh yeah that's not that's not on it now that's all bits and bobs you know that and then that's one for both of you apparently but mum says you can open it i love them have you finished distributing that's the one. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, lots of prezzies. Granddad over there as well. You two are hard to buy for. Yeah, you are very hard to buy for. <laughs> what have you got, Nan? Thank you, thank you. You got a Christmas hamper. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Not for you. Look at that. 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 Look at
You always light your candles, don't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, the biscuits. Yeah, yeah. We'll have that tomorrow. And I think Nan, those. Oh, there's a little whisk. I think that's a little whiskey, is it? Cognac. Cognac. And then I think that these Nan, these are um, lemon and ginger tonics. So they're like little little health drinks. They're really nice. Oh, there you go, Granddad. Yeah, they got. A, there's a lemon, ginger, and turmeric, and then a lemon and ginger one. Okay. Curd, I think, or marmalade. No, yeah, marmalade, lemon marmalade. Oh, there you go, you got some now. Yeah. I got it ages ago. So you'll laugh, but I got ages ago. Way before. Thank you, Tony. Just what I use. A useful present from Mum and Dad. Different things. Oh, well, yeah, ages ago. Now I've got the same one. A useful present. Useful? I don't. Oh, yeah. Just six glasses. Oh! Oh, way before Potokino yeah, went to Let me see. for um, yeah. Ian to use, I got you and Mighty Robert Sight. They oh, they're really like useful. zoom glasses with little LED lights on the end as well. It's a shot, yeah. It's nice, Grandad. It's that's really all, nice. That's ginger. That's got ginger and turmeric. That, is that powder or liquid? Liquid. Marmalade. Ah, so it's a concentrated anyway. shot. It's not a long drink. It's a short drink. Okay. Very okay. really potent. They're nice. That's good. Oh, careful. Oh, there you are. Turmeric. Just try it. Yeah. Jerry's happy over there with all of his new toys as well. Oh, yeah. Try it at a time or whatever. Okay. Stick them in the fridge. A nice one in the fridge. Okay, I'll have to do that. <laughs> they're so good these, I thought we, you, you've got them, I've got to get you a pair. They're like zoom, they're like, they're zoom like glasses, with glasses with built in lights. <laughs> you must have seen them on the telly. Oh yeah, I've seen them somewhat, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know if we were doing our Christmas Eve. Mum's given me a Christmas Eve box, so I didn't know if we were doing them. I put it under the tree because I was going to say to you after church, go check under the tree. <laughs> but if we're doing it now anyway, then you can have yours. Gosh, we've got all the presents. Jerry is a very happy puppy. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Oh, is this what I can do? She's by herself. I picked them up. I got. Them. I picked them up yesterday. They're so cute. I love them. I got them from Primark yesterday. They were reduced to two pounds, so I could not get you a pair. They're so comfy and cute, aren't they? Yay! They're so cute. That was just a bonus Jonas yesterday. I picked up when I was with Charlie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think really like it. I was thinking when I bought that. What should I Yeah, I think so. Yeah, TK Maxx in town. They're not Christmassy because we don't ever really rewear them. I bought these I bought these for myself like last month and they're my favourite pajamas. They're so comfy. So um yeah. And they're black, you like black. Easy peasy. Yeah. Oh done. Thank you. Yay! I got my Christmas Eve box, and yes, this was from 2018, and it says my first Christmas Eve box. In fact, I think it was my first Christmas. It it's supposed to be for like a, like a baby, but first Christmas Eve box. And let's have a look what we've got. Oh, it's wrapped up. Oh, what's this? You liked mine. Oh, yay! No, not for you. Not for you. To Amy, new PJs for Father Christmas. Love you, yeah. Mum. Oh my goodness! Yay, honey, look! We've got Fox's chocolatey biscuits! And we I'm just running out of these. And I just finished the Terry's chocolate orange last night! Yay! This is the dark, I told you, the elite. And what's this? When you had the poker keynote, didn't they give them to you? No, I didn't win them, I lost them. Oh the hairbrush! Thank you. In fact, I've still lost mine. Oh, I, I haven't found it upstairs. I don't know where it's gone. I'm sure I took it home. Hairbrush, absolutely perfect. What? This is like my ideal well, box. So you can brush your hair before you go to bed. Have your tea and biscuits. Have a biscuit and put your and chocolate orange. And put my new my new decor on the tree. Well, you like. <laughs> you said that was cute. 
I don't think I think I have the silver version of it. Uh, I think you got me it. Oh, did I? I think so. Let's have a look at my new dim dum. <laughs> my new Christmas dim dum. <gasps> what is it? It's oh, a new pair of dim dums. Oh, is it? Is it all in one? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Oh, Jerry! I've got one this week. Yeah, well, they're from Tesco, one, but, so it's not pinch ones. I looked everywhere. She doesn't. Ones. I don't think oh, she. I think nice. she don't work with them anymore. No, but it's, I got the same oh. one. It's a lounge. It's a lounge suit. I got exactly the same. I'll one. wear that perfectly. I I'll wear that all the time. Right, Yay! Have have Thank you. Time. Sorry, we had to interlude Nan and Grand Granddad's in, um, presents because we were doing ours. <laughs> we're still doing Nan and Gramps' presents. Yeah, Jerry's enjoying his, and I just noticed this. This is Mum's bag, but look. We've got lunch in here. Nan knows to shop from the best brands. I've just popped out to make a tea and I come back to this. It really is Christmas day, it feels like, isn't it? Grandpa and his new electric blanket. <laughs> I just missed that. I, I thought I pressed well, record, not, but... I mean, you're not a large, you're quite small feet. No, large, these are large. Oh my, I buy large oh, for shoes. <laughs> I pressed record, I poured, but I clearly didn't on the camera. But Nan got us both lounge bags. And look, from Vlogmas week three, I showed you these. Oh, God, they're no, you just oh my gosh, they are amazing. Jerry. Jerry. Hang on, I've got to try oh, these. They're so on. comfy, Amy. They look comfy. Jerry. Oh my gosh, Jerry. I'm so excited. Please. And also, we got, I gave, we got our slippers on at the moment. Hang on. Oh my gosh, I, I've never oh my God, it's like seen this like Jerry. Oh, is it? Um, thank you. I never no. seen these on lounge. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's <gasps> stand up and walk up. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're so spongy. They're spongy. <laughs> I went down yesterday and I bought those. No, I haven't. And then when we come out of the shop, I said. It's a great day because right here could be one. Do you know, I reckon Amy would, uh, Karen would love those as well. I said, I, I would like to make Karen there. So we went back in. <laughs> I said to the woman, um, I said, she looked when I came back in and she yeah. was like, oh, what's she bringing them back for? I said, you're going to laugh. I said, but I want another pair of these. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, should have. They're lovely, aren't they? Well, you know what? I've never seen them online because I was going to say use my own um, toys. Oh, it's Jerry. I'm going to oh. say use, use my discount code. <laughs> But unfortunately, I don't know if they take it in the store anyway. I've never even seen these online. I've worked with Lounge for like three years now and I've never seen them online. Oh, I love them. But what's nice is they Oh, thank you. Oh, they are so comfortable. And they say Lounge on the back as well. So everyone's just left and we've put on the telly and we've got Santa Cam on. Where is he over? There he is. Su Zhang. Su Zhang. Yeah, at the top, head in four. Kunming, China, in one minute and thirty. I want to see what. Oh, of course, because because over in China now it will be. Yeah, it will be Christmas Day. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so funny. That is so good. And look, we've got live nice. live nice. count of people watching it. Yes. We got some lovely presents. They're all in here, including Jerry Man's. Andy's mine. Yes, it is yours in there, but you can't have them yet. We're gonna take these home, and we've got uh, about three hours to pop to the pub. Andy needs to do his wrap wrapping still. I'll do it after, I'll do it after church. What? No, that's when we're supposed to be settling down. Oh, There's not enough time now. We have to be at the church. Yeah, oh my gosh. And then um and and then we are going to church. And then it's Christmas Day, but it's been Jerry no he wants his hey, toys. Wait, what's happened when he gets to China? Sixteen I'm seconds to China. To I assume he's flying. I'm gonna say I guess nothing happens. No, but he's gotta stop, stop it. But the kids in China. Anyway, we're gonna pop to the this. pub very shortly. No, no, there you go. It just changed to three minutes to go in somewhere else. He's been there. Oh. Now. He's all done. Oh. <laughs> to the pub! <laughs> the outfit has been changed in the Christmas oh, jumper. I'll carry him just Jerry's before, got his Jerry's got his Merry Woofmas on and we are at the pub. So beautiful. Proper pub it is here as well. And there we go, our Christmas Eve pines. There we go. Merry Christmas Eve everyone. Just one for me because I am the driver today. We've got this very cute little window seat and we've got everyone here. We're sat right by this beautiful Christmas tree. It looks stunning. We've got the girlies here who are waiting for Christmas Day for Father Christmas to come. We've got the other little baby over there enjoying the pub. I'm aware of the Christmas tree. 
you do hope well hopefully we've all had our christmas tree up because it's too pretty to enjoy just for one day isn't it far too pretty so yeah we're having one drink here and I'm gonna chill for a bit and um, like i said chill. i put my christmas jumper on so cozy just took some really cute photos too uh, probably will be the thumbnail of this video to be honest but yeah what a wholesome fantastic lovely day <sighs> back home so church was so beautiful and I'm ready now to have a shower. It's eight o'clock and we need to make a little bit of tea because all we've had is that breakfast today. It was a nice big breakfast, but we're now very hungry. And down, put some pasta on. Andy's got to do his wrapping still. And then we're gonna watch the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. Jerry's got his new NSPCC pajamas that I picked up. Um, oh, Jerry, look. Hey, it's your ball. <laughs> I've turned on all the Christmas lights and I am ready now to go have a shower, freshen up and sit down and have some tea. I wish Gavin and Stacey, I love this part of Christmas. I absolutely love it. Right, my man. Oh, look, we're both done. Great. Is this your new Jim Jams? Is this your new Jim Jams? Come on then. Got to look posh for Santa Paws. We got to look posh for Santa Paws. He's coming to town. He's coming to town. Santa Paws is coming to town. There you go, my man. It's very nice and roomy. It's a little, little bit big, but we'll work with it. You look posh, my man. This is the Home Bargains NSPCC one. If you've watched my Home Bargains video, then you'll know. And we got the little reindeer on. Little reindeer from Primark. I absolutely love these. My mum loved them as well. So this is my Christmas gym jams this year. Oh, I've got to turn the light on. It's a bit better. We've got more of a festive background. Uh, yeah, this is my Christmas gym jams. More of a loungewear set. Mum said she got it from Tesco. It's the cozy time range. Uh, she tried to look for Hinch, but they don't do them anymore in Tesco. I think she went independent, but yes, this is my lovely... Have you got your toy? Come here, let me see. Oh, he wants to play. Yay! They are really, really nice, and I just got this beautiful necklace, which you will see in my... Um, sorry, the aperture is really high. You'll see this in my... Uh, what I got for Christmas, my annual video, but yes, I need to give my hair a brush, do, do excuse that, I just had a shower and the brush is left down here, but I'm all ready to just make a little bit of pasta, it's got very late now so I must carry on, make some pasta, sit down and chill out before we do all the crazy madness again tomorrow, but oh my goodness, it was such a wonderful lovely day i'm not actually sure how much i'm gonna film tomorrow i will film some clips in the morning for sure when my mum and dad come here christmas dinner though i'm not too sure because we're around andy's family and i don't want to be sticking the camera in their face it's it's a new experience to me it's it's very private but obviously before and after that for sure i will be picking up on this vlogmas we have just opened the last day on our advent calendar and got the teddy bear. And now we've got our cups of teas. It is 10, 14, and we're gonna head upstairs and watch some telly. Are you ready, my man, for mm -hmm. bed? Look at all these presents already. You ready for Santa Paws? <gasps> Shall we go upstairs? Come on then. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old Good morning, McMuffin. And Merry Christmas! He knows this is his sack. Has Santa Paws been? Has Santa Paws been and filled up your sack? Oh my gosh, look how happy he is. That tail has never gone so fast. It's a little bit Jerry man. 
<laughs> no, not yet. Not yet, baby. No, no, no. It's only seven minutes past eight. Oh, Jerry, no. It's only seven minutes past eight. We gotta wait for daddy to get up. We gotta give him a little bit of time in bed, my man. Look at him. He's like, nah, this is mine and I want it. It's mine. You can't take it away from me. Oh, Jerry. Right. I'm sorry, my man. You've just gotta wait a little bit, okay? <laughs> Good boy. Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas. It is about half past seven, and we have got up. You've just seen the footage of little Jerry boy coming down to his presents. I will be giving him his presents now. I can't wait any longer. And he's just come down and he's given me my presents over here. So I've got a nice little candle. I got a giant Lindor ball and then he <laughs> put this in a box uh, and drew this because we are going on a lovely little cabin break uh, at the end of March, hot tub cabin break. So I think we're gonna do all of our presents. I really wanted to wait till my mum and dad come over at 9 a.m. to give Jerry his presents because they love watching him open his presents. But <coughs> this one's for Jerry on the table from Andy. But um, I don't think we can wait. It's not fair. I don't feel like I can make him wait. <laughs> but yeah, I think we definitely need another cup of tea. I'm going to be looking like this all day and I really don't mind. All my nails have come off. I don't mind. I seriously, <laughs> I seriously am just so in the moment and happy, happy right now. Um, we've got the foxes here. I might have already had two of those chocolatey foxes this morning because we all know calories don't count on Christmas. I was watching some YouTube, but we got our fire on. Oh. <laughs> on YouTube, interrupted by an ad break, of course, because all the fires come with an ad break. But yes, great start to the morning. Oh my goodness, where's this me? But this with all the other ones to take over later. He just wants that big friend. He wants to open them all. He wants, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Not everything's for you, Jerry. Oh my god. Calm, Jerry. Oi, calm. Oh my god. You, goodness, Jerry. Jerry, calm. <laughs> calm. Oh. Look at him. He's so excited. He thinks it's, he thinks it's all for him. Big present. <laughs> Loading up the presents here! Oh my gosh! All done! Oi, 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 oi! No, 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 they're not yours! Jerry, no, he's not yours! Oh gosh! What have you done? No, he's not, he's just... He's just... She's got me bad finger. You got a bad... Oh dear. Oh my gosh, it's all happening. It's all happening! Right. Let's get a drink and then this dog, honestly, he's gonna oh be. Oh my god. I, honestly, I'm. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna be out out of fuel by, yeah. I, rec I get, guess, about 11 30. <laughs> Christmas breakfast is served! Yay! Yay. Yummy, Hello, yummy. Mike. And Andy and Mum have got ham. Yummy. And we've got Dell's for apple juice, Buck's fizzes. All good stuff. Jerryman, breakfast time! I know, you've been so patient. Come on then. Come on down on the floor. Right. What's this? Oh, calm. Look at... What is it? What are these two on their phones? No, I'm just videoing them. I'm sending it to my mum. Go on then, pick your first present. Look at it.
You might know what this one already is. I don't think it's gonna excite you that oh, much. Oh. Parker, you know what, you're gonna break all the paper before you even... <laughs> yeah! Jerry, look! Look this! What's this? Yay! <laughs> oh my god! Gray. See, double, oh, yeah. To match all of our grey outside. I got a greenhouse! We've been doing all of our presents. <clears throat> Jerry's been happily enjoying his. And we're coming to the end now. Mum's last present, I think this is. Oh my god. What is it, Mum? What is it? Oh, it's got me another purse, so I've just got one, haven't I? Little yeah, purse. This is a mini, mini purse. Oh my god! Nothing for you, Jerry. <gasps> no way! I found them! No way. I, where did you find them? <laughs> the deep depths of online. <laughs> Brand new in box. That's what I mean. When we went to Birmingham, we went in TK Maxx and they had these. They were a couple of hundred quid, 299 or under. I can't remember how much they were. I ummed and on, ummed and on, ummed and on, ummed and on, and now I went, I'm gonna get them. And then she got my eye, no, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna get them, I'm not gonna get them, and I didn't. And she put them back and then on the coach on the way back, and since then I've been saying to you, I wish I'd got those earrings now. You said, you said to me, so we were going to Bister, we were going to Bister, and you were like, oh, I so oh. wish. I so wish I got those earrings. Oh I really God. regret it. I really regret not getting those earrings. And when we were going to Bista, I was hoping to find you something for Christmas. So while you were driving, I was on the phone searching for them. And I managed to find one pair. Oh my God. I'm but I found them. They were the only ones I could find online. Absolute carnage. Absolute Boxing Day. Carnage madness, and this isn't even the worst of it. Look at the front room Sorry, should I say heading into the front room and then the front room? I haven't looked in here since yesterday morning uh, Okay, not as bad not as bad as I thought but Sign of a good Christmas Started packing away the Christmas decorations, but we got to have one last appreciation for this beautiful tree until next year. And just like that, this is the end of Vlogmas 2023. I've edited this video and I know that it's over an hour long and if you've given me that time out of your day, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed spending Vlogmas with me over these last four weeks of videos. All of the playlist is linked down below. If you haven't seen it and you wanna catch up, then you can do that as well. They were honestly some of the funnest times that I could have filmed. I hope to do Vlogmas on a daily basis, providing the universe aligns for next year. I'm moving on to film a lot more videos already today. I've got three in the pipeline to get ready for the new year declutter and organize and hauls. I've got so much lined up guys. So if you haven't already, especially if you've made it to this point, please give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads in 2024. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos over on the screen here for you to catch up on some more of my content. And for a final time, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I hope you all have a very, very happy new year on Sunday, which I will be back for another video. Thank you again for watching everyone and I will see you soon. Ciao.